Drew Gulak has responded to Ronda Rousey's allegations that he inappropriately pulled on her pant drawstrings backstage at a WWE event. During an appearance on News Nation on Tuesday, Rousey said she was waiting to speak with Triple H outside a WWE writer's room when someone grabbed the string of her sweatpants before walking away. She would later identify this person as Gulak. She said, I was standing there, and this guy I was barely an acquaintance with grabs the strings of my sweatpants as I'm walking by. And nobody reacts as if this is abnormal. And he's going down the hall, and I'm like, what the F is that? Why are you grabbing the string of my sweatpants? If my husband was standing there next to me, would you feel comfortable walking up to me and grabbing the string of my sweatpants? I just want to interject here to say that forget her husband. Who in the world? Anyway, Ronda Rousey? So she says he did that. All the guys around me were like, this is part of the day. And if this guy was coming up to me and doing this kind of stuff to me when there are other people around, what's happening to these other girls when I'm not in the hallway? So Gulak then went on X. And he said, backstage at a WWE event in 2022, I saw Ronda talking with a group in the hallway. I stopped to say hi and shake all of their hands. And in an attempt to shake her hand, I accidentally touched her drawstring. Complete accident, and one that I had apologized to her for the mishap. Rousey later said she confronted Gulak after the incident. She continued, I was like, if I ever hear you putting your hands on any other woman like this or doing anything to me like this ever again, we're going to have a problem. And he was like, no, no, no. I'm glad you said something to me. He backpedaled. But it put a sour taste in my mouth about the culture there, what's considered acceptable, and how to touch and treat the women in the hallways. So... That's her side, and that's his side. And when this came out yesterday, I know there were people there that thought, I don't know if Gulag's going to uh, make the day, but uh, so far he has made the day. So, day's not over, but uh, that is uh, each side of the story there. They sound like two completely different stories. I mean, they sound like two completely different stories. I was standing there, and this guy, barely acquaintance with, grabs the string of my sweatpants as I'm walking by. You know, it, it, I, I don't know, and I just I'm trying to envision this where she takes that reaction of him trying to. I, I just seems like two completely different stories there, and I, it just I don't know. <laughs> she said it on News Nation, and this is. Obviously, again, I, I don't. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like his defense. You know, you ever tried to shake hands with somebody and grab their belt, Brian? I mean, that that didn't happen when we shook hands for the first time. You know what I mean? I, I, I got to be honest. There's this sounds like there's something that needs to have like some sort of HR investigation launched and have people that were around talk to about it because. That's a heavy thing to put on the sleeve of his jacket walking around backstage is this. You know what I mean? Uh, I, to me, that's... If I'm him, I better have a better defense than what he tweeted out because she's Ronda Rousey and she said what she said on TV and is, I'm sure, telling her absolute truth. So, I, I don't know. What do you think? That well, seems to I... Me, I... You know, I mean, all I know is, like, what actually, what is she saying actually happened? Is she talking about, like, he stuck his hand in the waistband? Or is she saying that, like, the string in the front of your sweatpants that hangs down that you're supposed to tie was just hanging down? But even like, in that case, Brian, well, I'll just if you say think this. about it, that's it, not good. Uh, well, of course it's not. I'm just saying, like, his claim is it was an accident, okay? If her string was uh, hanging down and he accidentally c caught it, that's at least, okay, I could see that could happen in infinite universes. But if she's saying that he went to shake her hand and his hand went in the front band of her sweatpants, how does that even happen? How? So, I don't know. I know. You're either you're either coming up way from way too low with that, or I don't know, you know, what you're doing there. You know, coming in well, my point way is, too I, down. I can, I, you know. I'll just put it this way. If you're talking about this, the long string that hangs down in front of your sweatpants if you've not tied them yet, yes, I can see that getting caught in something. But I can't see How? the I can't see the band of your sweatpants being caught in anything. That's I I haven't seen anybody you know, rocking the big loop out of the sweatpants in a long, long time. I guess there's somebody well, still out there. Usually, you know, you got real short now. That's 
you know, come on. I'm just telling you, dude. You asked me. I don't know I, what happened. I wasn't there. I know. I mean, I'm, I I'm he's still. Got a better, look, I, I'm sure this sounds like it's going to need to be cleared up. Well, of course. We have got the Dynamite show tonight, where today they added, today they added, Brian Danielson wrestling. He will be facing Lance Archer. And Adam Copeland is on the show. I think maybe they should have announced that a little earlier, but I think so. no, no, just no. me. No. Uh, Samoa Joe and Swerve have their contract signing. It is the Young Bucks versus the Best Friends Tag Team Title Tournament semifinal match. It is Mariah May and the Thunder Rosa. It is Brian Danielson and Lance Archer is noted. Chris Jericho will call out Hook. I still have no idea what that means based on the storyline. Will Ospreay versus Powerhouse Hobbs in the Battle of Wills. And I still cannot believe this match is occurring. Switchblade Jay White versus Mr. Ass in a one-on-one singles match is happening tonight on AW Dynamite. King Ass, William Gunn. So, uh, huh. And then uh, we got Rampage. Actually, I believe that... Um, Collision being taped tonight. Well, yeah, Rampage. Or whatever it is. I don't know what they're doing. But they are featuring a uh, Collision yes. taping, which will air after Dynamite. There so is. we'll have the uh, the full Collision lineup for sure uh, tomorrow. And then that show airs at, what, 11.30, I believe, this weekend. Actually, uh, it's not the after. worst time at all. It's, it's airing after WrestleMania. So, uh, honestly... I mean, it depends on if WrestleMania wears people out. But if you're uh, if you're watching WrestleMania and you still want a little more wrestling, yeah, but, but you can tune on, in Ryan. for Collision. The Cluster app is going on. Joey Janela's uh, spring break. Well, Come yeah. On. What are you, you going to choose? How many people are in that cluster? 78? <laughs> no, seriously, a, I'm not even making that up. It's going it, to be a spectacle. It's like folks. 78 or 87 people. It's completely ridiculous. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semperbibi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. 88 people in the cluster. 88. <laughs> Even WCW, when they had that three-ring that three ring World War III Battle Royal, I think it was still only 60. 60, yeah. 88 people. 88. 88. Hey, you know what? I will say one thing about 88 people. What's that? Uh, Makes for a hell of a party. No. It is a cluster. And uh, I pray to God nobody gets hurt. Because even back in the day, you know, this is certainly not the case anymore. But, you know, Tim Flowers used to run these battle royals. And it would always open the show. Battle royal, winner gets Tim in the main event. And there's only like, you know, 20 geeks in the ring. But man, if you did a spot or took a bump in the battle royal, he would he'd get that cane wouldn't get in well. Because it's twenty people in a twenty by twenty ring. You can't be taking bumps, you're gonna land on somebody, you're gonna trip over somebody, you're gonna get hurt. So uh eighty eight people yeah. in this cluster. Be careful, well, everybody. I don't know if everybody's going to be in there all at the same time. We'll see. Would, yeah, how is this going to work? I would think there's going to be, you know, staggered entries and out, outages. However, that uh, eliminations, I guess I should say. I'm just hoping Omas shows up. I mean, that's really what I want after this weekend. Two days of this Joey Janela spring break and these zillion other shows. I know I'm not going to get Omas against Filthy Tom Lawler on Bloodsport. I'm actually very upset about that, but... I need to see, as uh, the trade-off here of Shayna Baszler being on Bloodsport, why not Omas? Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers 
at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.